count. able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only a diverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets to the point of hurt, he knows where to find the spot in their night. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. There's no tell on that leg kick. Misses with the right hand. Ooh, that up with that landed for Ball oh, straight right. Big leg kick land. What a fight we got going on here. Oh, big left. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he cuts him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Blocks the shot. Under a minute to go. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Round two on the way. Big body kick. Good work blocking the knee. Just missed with the elbow there. Right 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him food. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work is pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the...